Hey guys, I got my iPad here and I'm going to show you how SoundSlice works on a tablet. So the first thing to notice is it's all in a web page. There's nothing to install, no app store to mess with. You just go to SoundSlice.com in your tablet's web browser. This happens to be Safari on iOS or on Android. You would use the Android web browser. So uh, how do I navigate this piece of music? Say I want to learn this piece of music. Uh, first thing you should know is there's a play button in the lower left here. If I want to navigate through this thing, I can just click in the notation and it'll move the playhead to the bar that you clicked in. It's going to move it to the start of that bar. So it's very fast and easy. If you want to move through the piece, you can use a single finger and drag it up and down to move the notation, just like that. And if you want to, oh, you can also use this uh, scroll bar here, just click on that and hold down to drag it, and that's a quicker way of moving that thing. So if you want to loop a section, you can uh, use two possible methods. The first way, the easiest way, is just to double click in a bar, or double tap. So I double tapped and it looped, or it created a selection on that measure, which means I can now loop it. So if I hit play, it'll loop it. Once you have a selection, you can uh, tap on the edge and uh, drag it to increase or decrease the size of that selection. So let's say I want to increase this to include the next two notes that I'm also practicing. I'll just drag on that and you can you know, make it as big or as small as you want, move it to the next line, whatever you want to do. So the second way of creating loops, other than that double tap method, is just to have a single horizontal swipe with one finger. So this is how that looks. You just tap and drag horizontally. So there you go. It's very intuitive, very fast. So the last thing I want to show you is uh, you can zoom in and zoom out. This is super cool. Actually, it's, uh, it's quite fun just to mess around with it. So if you want to make the notation a little bit bigger, grab two fingers, put them down together, and uh, go out. It's the reverse pinch. Just go like that and it'll make the music bigger. And if you pinch inward with two fingers, it'll make it smaller. You notice that we do something really cool. It's called notation reflow. So right now you see three bars here on the first system, the first row of music. If you zoom in, at some point it's going to decide only two bars fit. And if you zoom out, at some point it's going to decide that, oh, six bars fit, and if you zoom out all the way, there's a lot more, so this gives you a, a nice quick view of the entire piece. So this is very nice and natural. You just use your fingers to zoom in and out, and SoundSlice does the hard work of re-rendering the music on the fly to fit whatever zoom level you want to deal with, whatever device size you're on. So, hope you enjoy!